the robot has a job to help the employee in the quality management of each bike. Um, they work together as a team. Um, the employee proves the whole bike completely and the robo do, does a job in detecting the details of elements on the bike which are very equal. Uh, by the way, or for example, we have uh, in the moment 10 different signal horns which are very equal and the, uh, the, the differences are very, very difficult to detect. And so the robo did a very good job in proving this. Um, and the worker has a new job. He has to teach the robo and uh, so his work has developed in a total new way in the direction of Industry 4.0. We need to have such elements in the assembly line because we have a huge range of bikes and we have a huge range of elements which are very equal. And it's for a man or a woman, uh, even if they have a hard experience, it's very hard to detect every simple fault the whole day. And I think it's a kind of boring work. And uh, in former times, we had for this a firewall of two or three men or women who have to do this job to recontrol again, to recontrol again, so that we uh, produce 100% quality. This second or third line of control of quality management is down now. We don't need it anymore because we have the robo. The advantages are as follows. First of all, quality is again rising up. Second, um, the, uh, the difficult works, which are very boring for the people, is now done by the technique, by a robo. And the third thing is um, we have the competence to teach robots, which is totally new for this work in the assembly line. In 2016, we decided to build in a totally new production system in this area. It was necessary because uh, we have uh, a lot of different bikes to produce here and we have a huge mass of, uh, uh, of complexity. And uh, our aim was, one of our aim was, our strategy was um, to be more flexible. Um, the decision was to build in um, a couple of elements of uh, Industry 4.0 and one of it is this key is a special key for every worker, for every employee here in this area. He, uh, he locks itself into a, a slot and then uh, he knows if, if he has the right qualifications to work and to do to, to a good job. The second element was um, everybody has the ability to get his, his uh, working height so that he do, that, that does a, a very good job. Um, and the third thing was um, we have an information if it is good for the worker to rotate his working place. Because if he's working on one working place for a long time, there is need to change. And this system gives him a forecast to change now. Another part of our strategy 4.0 was to give information to all employees as soon as possible. And so it was my job to give enough information what we intend to do and everybody could, uh, could inform itself what is happening with this system. And then we had the chance to ask everybody, what do you expect from a new uh, assembly system? And so it was one, one idea of the team, of the whole team. We want to get more information. We want to get information which, is, which belongs to us, which is good for our ergonomy, and which is good for the quality of our bikes. Uh, the first result was the quality of our bikes. I never had an assembly line before which was able to build bikes in such a huge quality after such short time uh, after the start. The second part is uh, the absent rate of our employees is very low since we have the system. And the third is that we have uh, uh, partly 100% quality, no offline work after the, after the bikes are uh, produced. And so the costs for BMW in this area here are very low in the moment.